Hi, I'm Lori Lewis with Everyday Maui Live, and I'm here at Mala Ocean Tavern in Lahaina, and I have the general manager with me. This is Rob Farrell. Hi, Rob. Hi, nice to meet you. Aloha. Aloha. Welcome to Mala. Right? Like, this is your office, right? I have a very beautiful office. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm originally from England, so I was very happy to move out here and have this as my, uh, as my daily, daily office, yeah. What brought you to Maui? Um, I was studying hospitality um, university in, in the UK at Sheffield Hallam University, and I got a placement with Peter Merriman and, and TS Restaurants. They brought me out here. I did a training course with them, and, and the rest is history. <laughs> now, you and I know that people love Maui. I want you to tell people a little bit about the restaurant and our location, and tell me what makes Mala really unique. I mean, you, you can see right away. <laughs> What are the reasons? This definitely is one of the uh, one of the main attractions of Mala and what's put, really put Mala on the map over the years. Um, it was opened 15 years ago by Mark Elman, and it's really been a staple of the Maui, Maui food and culture scene ever since then. Um, we've really tried to uh, breathe a little bit of new life into Mala, so we've taken our beautiful view, our wonderful menu, and, and adapted that a little bit with the help of Chef Alvin, who you'll be meeting in a little bit. Um, but yeah, we, we, we just pride ourselves on incredible service, um, amazing food, beautiful views, and, and, um, and we're very lucky to have such a beautiful office. I've lived nine months on the island, and we live in the neighborhood, so we come here all the time, brunch and dinner and happy hour. No matter what, even through all the rough times of COVID, as we all know how the restaurant industry has been, you guys have been so consistent. And I know it's been hard, but wow, you've really you know brought it. Well, that's been really important to us. We, we really feel, we really want to be a staple of the community. And um, one of my goals when I first took over here is actually I was in a taxi on, on one of my first days to work here. And somebody told me that um, we, didn't like Mala, we didn't like locals at Mala. And that really struck a chord with me. So for the last three years, with the help of the ownership and, and, and Chef Alvin and everybody, we've really tried to change that opinion and really work towards being a, you know, a staple of the community. And, and that's why we kept our doors open as much as possible during COVID. Um, it's why we've really adapted and we've done different things during that time to, to, to help and just provide for the local community as much as, um, as, much as ourselves. So. One of the unique things here is that it does, it's glamorous and yet casual at the same time. I can't really explain that. Yeah, we go for that glamour chic kind of, uh, kind of style. We have a very old building. It's over 100 years old. It was a pineapple way station originally, this building. Um, so we go for that shabby chic. We try and provide incredible, um, incredible service and food to, to match the incredible view. Um, but it's an old building. It has character as well. So. It does, and there are different places that you can sit. I mean, we're outside on the lawn, and there's a little patio, and there's an indoor bar. Um, one of the other things that I love about being here is nine times out of ten, you see turtles, sea turtles right out here. Yeah, beautiful. Um, this is a turtle sanctuary right here. So anytime during the day, really, you can see the, the little heads and shells popping up from time to time. They eat lemu right on the rocks over here. So lunchtime is the perfect time to, to, to see those guys. And, you know, we, we originally, when we took over the restaurant, we only served brunch at weekends. So it was Saturdays and Sundays. And we looked out at the turtles and we were here in, a, in an empty restaurant on Monday through Friday. And we thought, why not? Why don't we open up for brunch every day so everybody else can experience, the, you know, the wonderful nature that we have right here. Yeah, it's kind of like an event instead of just dining. But speaking of dining, the food is just fantastic. I mean, even to the smallest things, like we were here on Thanksgiving, and I had the best stuffing with the turkey that I've ever had. Yeah, Portuguese sausage stuffing, which I, Alvin's great at that. He, he takes a classic dish. He's classically trained, so he, he, um, he creates something beautiful, and then he adds his local twist to it as well. So that Portuguese sausage stuffing was a... Uh, was a good one for sure. We've done that all over the menu. You know, the pancakes on the menu with the addition of the ube really stand out. Um, we, we try, you know, as, as much from front of house and back of house to create dining experiences and to create memorable experiences for people, whether that's the view, the sunset, the beet salad that's served in, in the box or, or the purple pancakes, you know, whatever it may be. Um, we try and create a memorable experience for our guests. You have a great staff here, too, and that adds to the experience. I think sometimes servers, you know, might get stref stressful and they forget that. But here it's like they're always on their point. 
one of the main things I say to people when we interview people that come and work here is um, we want I want you to love coming to work. I want it to be I want you to be excited on your whether you're biking into work, driving into work. I want you to have a smile on your face and to be excited because we have a beautiful a beautiful spot, a beautiful product, an amazing you know an amazing team of people around us, like you say. So um, so I want people to enjoy themselves. So you know that really that really rubs off onto the guests as well. So. Okay, so one of the last things is I, I follow a couple Maui Facebook pages, and that's one of the most common questions people ask is, where can I eat? And over COVID, and I don't have experience over a long period of time, but it's hard to get into restaurants. Uh, so I tell people to put mala on their list. If they're coming to the island on a vacation, say over Christmas or New Year, how long ahead do you think they should get a reservation? It really depends. Um, if you want to, if you want to join us between five and seven o'clock, those real prime time um, uh, sunset dinner, dinner, dinner slots. It, it's we're a month out. You know, we're, we we do have to have to call in advance. However, I always recommend people call on the day. We have cancellations. We do have people that don't show up for reservations every now and again. Um, so it's always worth a shot. You know, it's always worth walking in, trying to grab a seat at the bar. Um, if you're flexible and, and there's something that we can w work out for you, we certainly always will accommodate. So, yeah, probably a couple of weeks at best, though, for a large party. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Um, this is where we bring friends and family that come to the island, and this is really the hit. There's a lot of famous places here, but Mala is where we like to bring people, and we just like to frequent ourselves. So, Rob, thank you so much. And if you come by Mala, Say hi to Rob and uh, enjoy, enjoy. Aloha. Aloha. Thank you. <laughs>